Uh oh. Uh oh. That's right. Look, looky, looky. Get out of your man's new cookie. <laughs> My cow, but she didn't want to fire up, so I'm gonna leave her alone. A little bit of snow out here, cold day. Yep. Got the pad for the back. Got this module deal. Do all the computerized stuff for it. Make it all better. All kinds of storage compartment here. Hell yeah. Look at this. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, that is, right? Plug your CB in right there. A CB radio. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I gotta go get a head unit or a headset or whatever it is to plug into the CV, but I'm gonna figure out how that duck plucker works too. Yo. Ooh, yeah, now I see what my brother was talking about. A little, little ding going on there. Figure out what, what's up with that. Fix that. Replace it. There's the Vulcan. I'm gonna let my brother ride my Vulcan. I'm gonna keep the Vulcan for a while. I'm waiting for a good day to really clean my uh, my Harley up though. My electric glide. I gotta figure out how the stereo and all that works. It's all new to me, man. It's all new. Look at that. Got an RPM gauge, like old school, man. Fuel. The AIR, AJR, amperage, voltage, oil. I'm talking about. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, the cow didn't want to fire up. I tried to fire it up first. But uh, she kind of said, oh, oh, oh. I said, okay. We ain't gonna blow another starting solenoid like we did last time. Yeah. 
I took it out one time. It was the night I brought it home. And uh, I was glad I went ahead and got the tags and everything. Because the day after, this happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It fucking snowed. So, my brother told me, he said, if you're going to ride it, you better get that duck fucker down the road now because you ain't going to be riding it tomorrow for a couple days anyway. And, uh, and, you know, work and everything like that. Didn't have the time. Even if I, even if I could have, I wouldn't have been able to. But, uh, yeah. There it is, man. Yep, baby. 2004. I bet I didn't say that. Yeah, 2004. Harley electric bag. That big ass motor. That big old 80 plus cubic inch. Because its cams have been done on it. It has some work done. So, uh, yup, yup. But she needs a bath. She needs cleaned up real bad. So, uh, first good day, nice day. I'm gonna uh, spend a couple hours on her and get her all stick polished up, no doubt in my mind. Yup. Got storage compartments up here. Stick my phone in that one. Whatever in that one. Whatever in that one. Yup, yup. Cigarette lighter plug. Oh, I got one of them down there too. Hot damn, I'm glad. I wondered about that one. Now I know how I'm gonna keep my phone charged. <laughs> Until I put in some USB ports. I'll probably do that. But, uh, yeah. A lot of the old man come up in the world. Got a big old Harley Electric Glide. Big ass motor. Yup, yup. Alright, y'all. God bless. Take care. Just forgot to let y'all know about my new toy. Boy, I really can't wait for the weather to break. No doubt about it. Got six speakers. One here, one over there. This one here, and the other one on the other side over there. Got these two back here. And if I take uh, if I take the lids off of my bags I have on my other bike, well, I have eight speakers. Imagine that. <laughs> Woohoo! And plus, I got a 300 watt amplifier to hook up to it too. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really going to need the amplifier, but I got it. It's brand spanking new. I never did use that thing. So, uh, all right, let me get on out of here. It's cold outside. I just wanted to fire her up a little bit. Ooh, don't she sound good? Oh, yeah, she's all warmed up. She ain't blowing no smoke now. All right, y'all take care. I'm gonna shut this down and head on in the house.